Hello students, this is Miss Dalton, and in this video we're going to talk about absolute value transformations. So this should look familiar to you. Uh, notice that the transformations that occur to an absolute value function, they follow the same uh, transformations that we talked about in the last unit. Um, the letters have the same um, influence on the absolute value function. Uh, just notice that in the equation, um, it's going to look, a, you know, because now we're talking about an actual specific function. Um, if you see absolute value, you're going to have these absolute value bars. And so you're going to know that it is absolute value because you're going to see those absolute value bars. Um, now, go ahead and pause this video, and I want to see if you can write down from memory what the different letters in this function represent. So what transformations each of these letters represent. And then when you're ready uh, to check your answer, go ahead and unpause the video. Okay, take a second and check your answers. Hopefully you got them all right. Now I will say that um, when you are looking inside the absolute value bars, that's where um, it's going to lie to you. So if you look at uh, the B value, for example, uh, with it being greater than one, it is going to do a horizontal compression, and that's kind of the opposite of what the A value does. And then uh, same thing, if B is in between zero and one, that's going to be a horizontal stretch. So that's the opposite of what the A does. So remember that on the inside of parentheses or absolute value bars, that it is going to do the opposite. Um, and then the H value, the same thing happens. Uh, normally we would think the left would be minus, but, but because it's on the inside, it's lying to you, left would be, to the pl would be a plus, and then right would be a minus. Um, the K value shifts up or down, positive moves up, down, or negative moves down. One other thing that I'll point out to you here is that Usually um, in this class, what you're going to see is that this B value right here is going to be 1. Um, uh, we're not going to you know, have that B value be something other than 1 to where you're going to have to worry about the horizontal compression or stretch. So in these next three examples, um, go ahead and write down what the transformations are that are occurring. Um, in this first example, we have to say what the plus 2 is doing to the absolute value function, and we have to say what the minus 3 is doing. Well, the plus 2 is in the position of H, and the minus 3 is in the position of K. And so if you look back at your notes, or if you remember what's happening, the H value is going to move it, it's going to shift, sorry, it's going to shift because it's positive, it's going to move to the left, 2, and then the K makes it move up and down, so we can say because it's negative, it's going to shift down, 3. In the next example, we have to say what the 3 is going to do and what the minus 2 is going to do. Well, the 3 is in the position of A, and the minus 2 is in the position of K. And so if you look back at A, A makes it shift, or I'm sorry, stretch or compress. Because it is bigger than 1, then it is going to be a vertical stretch. And when you say the stretch, you want to go ahead and say by how much. Well, this one's going to get multiplied by 3. And then also it is going to shift down 2. Okay, and in the last example, we have the negative out front, and then we have the minus 9. The negative out front is a reflection, and then the minus 9 is an H, and then the H, of course, shifts left or right. So the first thing we're going to say is that it is a reflection over the X, sorry, X axis. I just realized that I... 
And then it will also shift to the right nine. Okay, that's it for this example, short and sweet. Uh, please make sure that you're memorizing those transformations. You will need to have them memorized for any assessments.